I'm a singer. I have been singing since I was three years old. Um, so very young, but I come from a very musical Filipino family who loves to do karaoke. Um, so it's pretty natural that I inherited that from them as well. Um, and then I guess somewhere along the way, my parents were like, hey, she's actually good at singing. <laughs> so they put me into vocal coaching. Um, and then from there, I started taking it more seriously. I fell deeper in love with singing and music in general. And I started performing locally, um, just in the lower mainland. I did a lot of cover songs. Um, I performed at so many festivals, charity events, um, stuff like that. Um, and then in 2018, I was like, hey, I've never written my own song before. So I started getting into songwriting. Uh, I put out my first song in 2018. And to my surprise, I didn't expect this at all, but it completely blew up on Spotify. And um, that's what really pushed me to say, hey, like, I want to be doing this for the rest of my life. So I joined um, Douglas College for Music Technology, and that's where I'm at right now. And I'm still pursuing it to this very day. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you so much, Kalisha, for that. And it is amazing to see you here today to perform your first song of the evening. So if you want to introduce what you'll be singing and yeah. We'll kick it off from there. Sure thing. Okay, so this first song is my latest release. It came out in May. Um, it's called Unheard Of. And this song is basically just about realizing your self-worth and sort of moving on from a toxic situation. So, you know, hopefully some of you can relate and I hope you guys like it. Stop, don't say more To the floor Let's let the story of us go and hurt, go and hurt, go and hurt, hey, 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 hey. All right, everyone, please, please clap and show your love for Glisha and her first song, everyone. Woo! Oh my God, I am like, my Yay, ears thank you guys. are so warm and like happy right now. <laughs> You're like, damn, those riffs, like y'all. Right? You hear that? You hear that every <laughs> single time. I know you've heard this from me, but every single time in that falsetto, so good, so good. So good. <laughs> thank you. So good. <laughs> So mm. what has your mental health journey looked like and how has that intersected with your musical career? I think I've started paying a lot more attention to my mental health in the past three years, I would say, um, especially coming out of high school and sort of dealing with new challenges that I had to face, like love, relationships, heartbreak, um, losing friendships and entering post-secondary, uh, which for me was a really scary new world where I, I couldn't really find where I belong. Music for me has sort of been my personal way of healing myself and giving myself peace in times where I can't get closure from anything else. If I can write about something and turn it into a song, I can then leave that situation in the past. And in a way, that's how music has been able to heal me. So yeah. Completely, completely relate to that and how, yeah, high school, damn, teen years can be so angsty. Like you you need an out, you need some music to really <laughs> warm and nourish your soul. And so, yeah, 100%. So I know for my for myself, um, when I started going to music a little bit, it was a weird thing for my parents to see at first because obviously they want me to be like a nurse or a doctor or like a lawyer, something that makes good money. And, you know, being like a first generation immigrant, um, it's hard to be able to adapt to that because that mentality is so different than what we, as, like Generation Z, or just like as youth in general, feel like we always have to chase our dreams and we have so many opportunities we want to go ahead and, you know, do what we want to do. So for you, um, as a person of descent, Asian descent, how has your cultural background played into your evolution as a young musician? My Asian heritage has definitely discouraged me at times to pursue what I'm pursuing, especially because I still think there's a lack of diversity and Asian representation in the sort of North American music scene. But there have been a couple individuals who have been like stepping into the light and inspiring me. And I think probably the most prominent would be 88 Rising. 
which is a label or collective and they showcase Asian talents and Asian American talents. And they have just been blowing up and I have been a fan of their artists and their music for so long. And just after seeing that that could happen for those people, I was thinking, hey, maybe I can open some doors for other people in the future too and inspire you know, other people that look like me and want to pursue the arts. Um, but on a more personal level, I feel you, Jay, you know, there's that stigma in Asian culture where just pursuing music or pursuing the arts is not a viable career path. Um, luckily, I've always had really supportive parents, but there is still that pressure to, you know, be able to make money and, you know, make them proud and stuff like that. So it's definitely still something I'm navigating through, but I'm inspired by so many people. To see you write songs and just be you and your authentic self it truly is like what people want to aspire to be like we have your second song in the evening so if you want to introduce that that'd be great yes this song is probably my most favorite song uh just because i had a lot of friends sort of involved in the creative process um and it was just a lot of fun to make with them uh, so this song is called scars and scratches it's about being insecure about where you may lack in a relationship um, but making that commitment to say, hey, I'm going to do my best and I'm going to be better. So I hope you guys enjoy. I want to take the ugly parts of me. Hide them so good that even you won't see. Can't stand to think the reasons that we fight. Are because I'm still a little broken inside. And I know we haven't been on the smoothest track I try to be perfect, but you see through that I'm rusty around the edges When it comes to love and affection It's something I'm trying to change Scars and scratches We both have them can't pretend they're not there But even then I will do my best to Show you my love and care Scars and scratches We both have them Can't pretend they're not there but even then I will do my best to show you my love and care. Yeah! Give her a hand, everyone! Give some claps! Woo! Oh my god, I actually love this. Scratch and scratches! Yeah, we yes. both have them. Woo! I need to see a duet great. between you two now. Like, damn, there needs to be stop. a feature of UJ. Oh my gosh, stop. This yes. is like, it's like on my Let's playlist. Amazing. Great song, great music. Oh, thank it. you. How have you navigated um, having a social media presence through all this? And yeah, what self-care do you do? Yeah, it can be a little draining and a little bit overwhelming. I've become pretty self-aware in the past few months. So anytime that happens and I feel like I need a break, I just delete the apps off my phone and put my phone down and sort of, you know, spend time with friends and family and sort of be with myself for a little while. I find that that helps me calm down a lot. It helps a lot. Going into my program, I've made a lot of friends who are sort of in the same situation that I'm in. People who just love making music, but sort of hate the business side of it. So being able to share our experiences together and just being with people that are just like me is, um, is really helpful. So I would say taking breaks and reaching out to my friends is probably my form of self-care. I love that. Reaching out to friends. Friends are always just great friends are always there for you. Knowing when you have to take a break, that's, we don't have to work ourselves to the bone. Like we don't have to really work so, so hard. Like I have to be successful, I have to be successful, but just knowing when to like slow it down and like, okay, hey, I'm in the present, right? So yeah, that's awesome. Now, I believe this is the very last song you'll be performing for us, right? Yeah, take it away when you're ready. This last song of mine is the first single that I ever released. It's probably my most personal song. And basically I wrote this trying to get over this heartbreak where I realized I was always putting this other person before myself and just realizing that that was never reciprocated back. 
Um, and in turn, I got this song and I got the inspiration to keep making music. So here it is. <laughs> Selflessness was second nature, but I gave too much. Recovered from the loss and I hope that our lives never touch. I was blind in love. So forgiving of your sloppy mistakes The mess that you made The man you portrayed is so far off from who you really are Still I chose you over myself Second chance is given more than twice, yet selfish you remain. My hopes were higher than the clouds above, but no starlight came. Just regret and blame. Still I had no shame. You pulled at my heart, we drifted apart. I couldn't restart Cause I believed that losing you meant losing me So I chose you over myself And I don't want you over myself Oh my gosh! It's so good, and I am obsessed. Oh, I can't. Thanks to everyone in the chat. I see y'all. What advice would you give to anyone wanting to pursue something creative? I know there can be a lot of pressure to be the best or to be successful right away, but you should just remind yourself that that's not what it's about when you start out. You know, you're doing this for yourself. You're doing something that you love. Have fun with it. And most importantly, at the root of it all, remember that art is just a form of expressing yourself and spreading a message, whatever message you want. And whenever I feel a little insecure, I always just tell myself, even if only one person likes a song that I make, then I have done my job as an artist. And hopefully that phrase is something that will encourage you guys to just do it anyway and have fun. Thank you so much for those words of wisdom. Honestly, it speaks speaks levels because you know people sometimes need that like extra motivation to push through and to strive for their goals and you are definitely inspiring so many people to just be so authentic and just to dive into the music and to like start writing their music and writing their own stories i think my favorite lesson um, from this whole music journey is to not be afraid to ask for help from people you know sort of going into school i wasn't the best at producing i wasn't the greatest at playing an instrument but after making friends, I realized that, hey, like wherever I lack and wherever these people are strong, they can definitely help me. And I've created some amazing music with some amazing people. And, you know, if it weren't for them, it wouldn't have happened. Um, so, yeah, I think just not being afraid to reach out and collaborate and ask for help because some things you just can't do on your own. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine. There's actually another question. Adrian has a question. He asked, what's your most rewarding experience doing music? First of all, hi, Adrian. My most rewarding experience, I think just getting Instagram DMs from strangers um, saying like, hey, I listened to your song and it really helped me through this tough time that I was going through. I've gotten a couple of messages like that, just really heartfelt messages from people that I never would have met if I didn't make music. Um, and just knowing that I was able to help someone through a tough time or you know, to, to be that shoulder to cry on, um, that was just really wonderful. And I think that's something that um, helps me keep going for sure. We appreciate you, Glisha, and we are truly blessed oh. to have you here tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I've had so much fun.